So for the record, uh, Dylan's got a new way to open these that feels very cool and organic, and yeah. it's, it's while we're talking. Oh, okay. Oh. So, but there, it's so funny. So you didn't know what this I'm was. The Brooklyn Pizza Place that. is down the street, right? Mm -hmm. The Brooklyn Pizza Place we go to for Houston's birthday. <clears throat> this is right in the middle of one of Rob's diets. So Rob, we're at the, we, we, we all one of his pizzas, many diets. And Rob's yes. like, "Hey, I'm going to just get a salad." Okay. Perfectly understandable. Cool. Yeah. More power to you. You know. Ooh, yeah. He orders a salad. They bring him the salad. Then they bring the pepperoni pizza, <laughs> and they put it right in front of him. It oh was my god. So funny. And then, and then I it was, was like his first day on the diet yeah. too. So it was. <laughs> it was. And I'm sitting here like, dude. You know what would be the funniest thing about? Like the funniest part about this? I gave him credit for his willpower. He did not eat that pizza. Wow. The only thing he tried was a bite Ooh. of the gluten free one that Gary got. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Welcome to three beers and a topic. The show right here on my personal vlog channel, where Dan and I just kind of sit here and try three craft beers from our home state of Colorado. Um, we BS, we talk about random stuff, we don't have any real time. Are these all I, local? Huh? They sh I'm going to find out in a minute, but oh. I bought them all at a local place here, so. We bought them in Colorado. <laughs> and they're, they're um, local. And uh, the way we opened this, I like that we Dylan did it last time, so we can do that. Today we have a guest, Sal. Hey. The funny thing about Sal is Sal came to visit for other podcasts on our channels. And doesn't drink beer. But the, Sal, I mean, the, to, the name of the show is Three Beers and a Topic, right, Dan? That is. So why can't we have Sal here for a topic? Right. Well, he gets three cat, Kit Kats. Oh, so he cat get, kits. Three weird, <laughs> he gets three Cat Kits. Well, we're, yeah. So in front of Sal are uh, bags of weird Japanese Kit Kats. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to try those in a follow-up segment to this with him. But uh, for right now, Sal, pick three interesting ones. And then as we go through oh, our thing. These you, aren't the three? What? No, they're all the same. Oh, no, those are, yeah. Okay. You uh, can open that. You can okay. open any of those. And yeah, just so just grab some Kit Kats. That'll be what you eat today. Let's Sal. do it. Here we go. Oh, goodness. No, on the Rob thing, though, seriously, that was insane willpower. That was, because I think it was like day one or two it, of his diet, It was diet like day too. one or two. He ate, the only thing he tried was a bite of the gluten-free pizza that Gary ordered because we were all curious how that tasted. That is true. It was like basically a pizza on a cracker. <sighs> yeah. It's good that's, old pizza cracker. That sucks. AKA gluten -free. It actually wasn't that bad, but I definitely would not order it. I don't even yeah. know what this is supposed to be, so we'll with that. <laughs> uh, this one has, again, I don't know what this is. <laughs> They're all in Japanese. Why would you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes they have a picture of something. On I just them, like you know? how he's he tries to read one, goes, I can't read this, puts it down, grabs the next one, yeah. tries to read it as well. Uh, well, uh, some of the, I couldn't read that last this one. Has one. A, this one sure. looks like it has like an ice cream on it. So it's like, oh, well, that'll probably be okay. more sweet. You know, I know right. what these pink ones are. We have a bunch of these at home and they're delicious. So I will not have that because I know what that tastes like. Well, you can do that if you want. No, no I'll go with this black one. <laughs> All right, so grab one of yours, and Dan, uh, we are going to start our show today. Uh -huh. So today's topic was going to be Dan telling a story from his life, which I guess he's going to do, but then Sal will help us out. Sure. Our first beer is going no, to be... No, I'll save that for when it's just you and I, and we kind of have less stuff. I want Sal to be a truly Okay, a so you got a good story one. you want to tell us? Uh, just a good generalized story. Okay, I'll but tell well, a story. But hold on, we're going to start with you. <laughs> so the beer we're going to try first is the Mama Bear's Sour Cherry Pie. Burgundy oh, sour ale aged in oak barrels with color it's from Colorado okay. Montgomery cherries. Okay, this is the middle cup. This is the middle the cup. The middle one. Yes, it's a sour. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> it smells sour. For the record, I went into this place and I said, "Give me your weirdest sounding beers." Okay. For the sake of our show. Nice. Now, I was supposed to get certain ones, I couldn't we were in a rush that day. So I was like, "Just give me some weird sounding ones that may or may not be good." Yeah. And they they had fun giving me those. So all right. Cheers. Uh, so what are you wait, what are you gonna eat? Oh, gonna uh, your, I guess I'll you? go with the I guess I'll go with the green one. The green one. Okay. All right. All right. Cheers. cheers. Okay. Well, we gotta gotta cheers with him too. I'm gonna cheers the Kit Kat. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Transitive property. We cheers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is that is way too sour. It is. I don't do sours well, man. No, you don't. I don't know why you keep getting them. You're the one that buys them. You don't do half of these well. It but smells... The flavor is the like a cherry pie, but like a beer. The flavor is not as bad as the smell. The sa It's really, really bitter. It's really... It is sour. It, luckily, it's not like the last one where it kind of tasted just like tap water afterwards. Like yeah. it had that aftertaste. It this would, one... It's not bad on the second sip. I think it's like when you first bite into a Sour Patch Kid, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, but then, but then, then, you and then you're shoving it. whole handfuls yeah. in yeah, there, you're or right. whatever. The second one, not the best beer, not the worst beer. No, no, it's actually not bad once I get over that initial bitterness. I don't yeah. do sours that well. Right. 
What did you eat? What was it? Uh, I think it's mint and <laughs> pistachio or something. <laughs> it's a normal kind of flavor, but it's like, it, it's, Let's see. It's, it's a little esoteric. It's hard to, it's hard to pin down. I could see them being mint leaves. That's the, the mint leaves maybe go, oh, okay, that's what that, like, there's like that, you know, mint like digs into your tooth a little yeah. bit. That's, mm-hmm. that's what that is like. Okay, so what's, do you have a story, Sam? Sure, in honor of your, 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 your ale about, be, about bears. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. The <laughs> first, the first and going? only time that I ever tried LARPing uh, was in high school. A friend of mine uh, and I were like, okay, this looks awesome. You know, well, we never tried D&D, but you know what? Screw that. Let's just go full tilt. And so <laughs> we'll make our own costumes. You like the little stage? Yeah, exactly. The, 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 the foundation. Yeah. Uh, we'll make our own costumes. We'll go into the forest. We, we, we went right to the foam weapon building. Mm-hmm. Went to the Home Depot. Spent a truckload of money just making these amazing foam weapons, which we then trained with for months before going LARPing. <laughs> so like, did you have like training sessions? Like, well, oh, let's go to the school gymnasium. No, we would go to school. And then afterwards, we'd all go to our friend's house. And then we would just like beat the hell out of each other with foam weapons for like three hours. That sounds like, was, so we bought these foam bats a while ago. It sounds like us like every day in the yeah. office. They're, ah! they're amazing. The foam bats and the Nerf guns where we were just like, does this hurt? Let's find out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like that. Um, so we had these, but we didn't like follow any directions. It was just kind of like, okay, it makes sense. You get these PVC pipe, you get the pipe insulation, you get duct tape, you're ready to go. So we get our weapons. Uh, we skipped the whole like costume making process. It was a disaster. My costume was the result of basically just like black uh, sweatpants and a sweatshirt and a cape that his grandmother made. And I was like, "This sucks." So we yeah. make our co- so we, we we make our costumes, which are a disaster. And I'm like, and "Okay, this was really hard. Everyone there must also have terrible costumes." So we drive out to Pennsylvania. We get to the Boy Scout camp that the LARP How is taking place. How old were you? Place. Just out of curiosity. Seventeen. Okay, so you were too young. old to do it. <laughs> now, that's not true. Actually, uh, most of my friends have LARPed, and some of them are actually like really, really adept at it, and like ran the damn thing. But anyway, so uh, we go out to this place. We, this is this Boy Scout camp. Uh, we pass by a trail called Shades of Death, which was really ominous and kind of foreboding. It Shades really, of, yes, death. Shades of de- I'm like death, really? Like where to bury the lead? So <laughs> we get there. And, uh, and we're like, okay, we're gonna have way too much fun at this thing. There's no way that we're gonna wanna like treat it like camping. So we're just gonna wanna like lo- role play and kick ass and take names and have a great time, maybe meet some chicks. And, and LARPing? Uh, right, yeah. This is how delusional That's we are. That's the chick yeah. spot. And, uh, I've always so, known that to be the spot to go to get women. To go to, to meet women. Yeah. And so we, we go and uh, we're, so we, we, anyway, we cut out the whole like meal plan thing. Why bring all this food? There's a feast that's supposed to come up around the day two. It's three days fa- affair. Uh, so I know um, we'll drink Slim Fast shakes because those things are like a meal in a can. We'll be just having so much fun. We're just going to want to like, grab a can, drink it. Boom. I got a whole meal ready to go. Uh, hey, cheers to our first day. Here we go. Crack it. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> but we have 12 cans and no food. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, you know what? Let's just let's not take this as like warning sign number two. Let's just let's just just choke these down and then try to make our way into the camp. You so got we, a feast coming up. Yeah, yeah, we got a feast in two days. <laughs> so we we go we go into the camp and I guess you should try your, your second beer. Okay, let's try our second beer. So the right. second one we're gonna be doing, find your Kit Kat. Is the love uh, right. is the ghost okay. in their eyes, Brett IPA. All fermented this in oak smells kind of good. <laughs> I've smelled, it smells Wafting. like a ghost. Wafting. Anchorage Brewing Company, uh, is this one from Alaska? Brewed yeah. in citrus and galaxy hops, fermented yeah, in oak Anchorage tanks. sounds Alaska. Right. Anchorage, Anchorage is in Alaska, but like, is, the, <laughs> is the brewery actually in Alaska, or are they just like in Colorado and they're like, this would right. be fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, Anchorage, Alaska is where this one came from. There you go. Okay. All right, well, cheers. 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 What is yours? Uh, black. 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 <laughs> Very hoppy IPA, but it's, actually, I like that one. I actually yeah. do too. That is actually really good. Well, I like that one a lot. It's got an 8% volume. I'm glad you said that because I was going to say, can I get a little more of this? Yeah, here you go. You know, it's good it's when Dan's actually, going for the second cup, right? So, um, I got to have something to drink while he tells this story. Yeah. All right, you're on. The, the, I think it was dark chocolate. So I'm gonna I'm gonna swap out my my white one 
because I know it's gonna be white chocolate at this point, <laughs> and just get something ridiculous looking. You know, it was the. Hold on, hold on. I got one for you. The one that's closest and the farthest in the, the bag. one that says the one that looks like it has miso soup on it. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, that was the one I was avoiding. I know the one I was avoiding. I had a feeling that that was going to be dark chocolate because it had the it was the black but had like the gold part. Yeah. That usually is like the dark yeah. chocolate. Yeah. Ooh. That's You're the like, gold Ooh. standard of chocolate. Am I allowed to just stop getting sours? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Neither Ooh, of us are like. This room I is filled it. with that smell now. <laughs> it's nice actually. I mean, it, I, I like the smell. smell here. Yeah, it's got a good odor that doesn't smell very alcoholy. No, that's good. this is like a Guinness. Yeah, I already drank it. Oh right, drink. <laughs> so uh, we get to the camp. Sal never drinks until he does. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll have a sip or two, but like I'm not. I, yeah, I no, 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 don't, don't but, worry about. So we get to the uh, we get to the camp, uh, and no, we were not prepared. Everyone there, it was packed, tons of people there. And they're all in like intricate, woven, beautiful, like cosplay-like costumes okay. but meant for like battle. And uh, that was, I was like, oh, well, I look like an idiot. <laughs> so we it's get to the thing. And you have no food. And I have no food. So we're like, so, and, and it's just the two of us. We don't know anybody there. We, have, we didn't make any contacts. So we spend like a couple of hours just kind of like trying to ingratiate ourselves into the, into the mode. Uh, we don't make any friends or meet anybody. So we're walking down a trail and... Uh, you know what, just real quick, you know what I've realized the show has become? What? We drink beers while telling embarrassing stories from our childhood. Yes. Yeah. That's what this whole thing has become. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's all! Uh, it why? Will, it's about to become embarrassing. So, right, so we, uh, we get to, uh, so we're walking down this trail, and then like this, this dude leaps out of a tree and lands at the path in front of us. And so we're in, we're, we're in character. And so we gotta be like, hail. Uh, who goes there, friend or foe? <laughs> Which killed me inside to say out loud. Why? Because it felt really the... lame. Oh, because you went No, because there... I was like, I'm all in. And then I go and I'm like, I, the rubber hits the road and I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Larvig is not what I thought it was. This is not what I thought it was. I am not prepared for this. So I'm like, hail, who goes there? And then he growls like a cat. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm out. <laughs> oh, I'm done. I got, I got two more days of this. And then he brusts out these twin uh, foam weapons and then just like destroys us. Like just hits us a thousand times <laughs> while, also count, while also shouting out the damage it deals. Like six damage, six damage. Six damage. And then like we have, a, we, have a, we have like an old school like key ring full of hit points. All my hit points are gone. I'm dead. So basically, we arrive, we make no friends, we look like like hot garbage, and then we are murdered in the street. <laughs> so we have to go back to the tavern, which is just like the the central like cabin, uh, where they have like picnic tables and stuff to meet a, to find. We have to find a healer to like bring <laughs> us back to life. Now I got an even more role play. The to, Twitch chat oh, would like to know if you went to a furry larp. No. <laughs> yeah, that you know, I he, kind of got he, a little he, suspicious he at was, the. He was wearing. Uh, he, he was he was wearing like he had like he was a dark elf. Dark elves, I don't know, they, they growl, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so we go to the thing. Uh, oh I'm, I'm done. And that's, that's around the time when I realized I didn't bring any saline solution or contact lens cases. So I'm like, oh, this is fantastic. It's a red letter day in the history of my life. So uh, we then went, we were like, okay, we got to find a place to sleep. So I find like one of those little like Girl Scout like cabins. It's yeah. a small two person cabin. There's two beds, no mattresses, hardwood. And I'm like, great, I'll sleep with my contacts in on a piece of wood. Uh, this is going to be a perfect end to a perfect day. So, uh, and you're hungry. I'm hungry. I'm, you're, I'm, I'm, you're I'm dying. dying. You're hungry. You're literally dead. I'm literally okay. dead. No, I, I, we did find somebody who begrudgingly brought us back to life. Why like, would they, wait, wait, wait. I'm like, this is your life. job. Wait. Your job is to bring me back to life. And he's what? like, he was, he was, he was this old wizard person. He was like, oh, fine. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, come on, put your heart into it. So we get You're our. You're supposed to be my healer. Yeah. So um, anyway, uh, I guess you should try your third beer. Okay. Uh, our third beer is Prairie Artisan Ales mm. called Bomb from Spaceship Earth Coffee Company. Imperial Stout aged on coffee, cacao, mm. nibs, vanilla beans, and chili peppers. Oh, <laughs> I like to. I like you went. Huh? So it's oh. Just, oh. oh, so it's yeah. just like dirt. Uh, it, it looks from like Oklahoma. It looks like dirt. yeah. It does. It looks nice. like a bad Guinness. Oh, oh, I, here, have a look. Yeah, that one. I yeah. held it beneath my nose for too smell, long. Smell that one. <laughs> also, it doesn't smell like beer, but nothing you want to put in your face. Yeah, this this smells like soup. 
<laughs> this smells like something I'm not going to enjoy trying. All right. But here we go. Here we go. What appears to be miso soup yeah. Kit Kat. Yep, here we go. This is just a, a nightmare for all of us yeah. today. Let's do it. <laughs> According to Boring Moose, the bomb is a really good beer. Oh, well. Is it this one? Oh, 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 oh nope. nope. I don't know. Oh. Nope. I don't know. I don't, it, how's yours? Nope. <laughs> it, it actually tastes like beer. <laughs> like, Does it, or is it because you smelt that? It that's... could be that in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. No, it's getting worse the longer it's sitting in my mouth. Ah, uh, that's what she said. Uh, um, it tastes I'm like- I'm just gonna put these away from me. That is not a good one. Yeah, just... it's, like a, it's like a hint of miso, but mostly white chocolate. Just your face. You're like, I don't like this. It's not great, <laughs> but it does. Oh. Yeah, there is a Do little. You don't like white chocolate? No. Oh, but it's so good. Yeah, I, I like dark chocolate more. Although yeah. Tiffany made these like large. I'm not gonna drink anymore. No, this. Tiffany made these Larfleys the cookies that are like oh. white chocolate in them. That's good. Yeah, but, look at that. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, so I'm making my way uh, through the downtown. town. I'm making my way downtown, <laughs> moving fast. Uh, <laughs> you homebound? Yeah. <laughs> So uh, I, got, I got a palate cleanse with this one. Yeah, this yeah. one. Okay, which one was oh, this? God damn it! I gave myself a head. I wasn't even thinking about it. Good pour. Totally tipped it like a like like a platter. I noob. honestly was watching you do that, and I part of me just kind of hurt. Inside. Yeah, I know. That was the total plaid moment. It was like, Bleh. oh, yeah. good pour. You're like I didn't expect that. <laughs> no, I expected that. My brain didn't click. You're not I'm, pouring like a coffee or something. Yeah. yeah. You're pouring, it's the bottle. It threw me off. You know what's funny? Now everything I pour like this. Just Since I started thing. drinking beer, I always do it like that soda. My yeah. tea, I will even sometimes, actually I don't. No, not oh, my tea. Oh, that was bad of me. My tea is a very specific way of being drunk. Yeah. Uh, the but. brewery did a tap takeover and had a deconstructed bomb, which was each ingredient of the stout separated and you can mix the flavors. I don't think they, I don't, I don't think they mix well. No. Mm. I would like the unseparated one because they I feel like there were parts of that that could have been good that got ruined by chili flakes. For, for the record, I want to throw something out real quick. That sounds yeah. like something that you no, should no. never put in beer. Oh, mm -hmm. I want to throw something out real quick. These beers are created because somebody enjoyed them and somebody's drinking them. Right, those are regularly purchased. Yeah, I at think, a store. Yeah. yeah. And you can I get those from a friend. It's very, a good point actually on that is, even if we don't like it, it doesn't mean it's a bad beer because Last episode, there were a couple where Benny would try it and I would try it, and I'm like, this is actually good. Benny's like, <laughs> yeah, it's all your personal taste buds. Yeah. Just like I'm not a fan of sours, but Dan seems to have been liking most of our sours. They're, I mean, they're not horrible. I'm not yeah. gonna like go Buy out of my way, but it's not. I just a... feel like we should specify that because it feels like every episode's us going gag beers, and it's yeah. not. Like a lot of these are normal beers. No, there's mm. ghost IPAs. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm actually really liking the Ghost IPA. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. um, very, it's not as like super hoppy as a lot of them. Okay. Um, yeah. So it, it actually, it's I'm simple. Really, it's a very simple beer, <laughs> and I like simple. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually surprised Dan's saying it because Dan, Dan's a very much <laughs> a heard. Heineken Stella guy. That kind of brand. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, the Cricket Stab actually was not bad after I got over the initial bite. Yes. The initial sour bite definitely got me bad. Mm -hmm. After that, I, it was not bad. It, the bomb, not for me. No, the bomb's you know, not for me either. What I am noticing though, sours I, for the most oh. part don't, I don't like, and Imperial Stouts, I think we both have agreed we don't like. What, what states are, which one was from Colorado? The first one. Yep, the Cricket Stab, the better okay. one. Because I was wondering if it is another one of those like, this is probably very popular in that state. And that's why they're brewing it over yeah. there, but it's getting exported to other places. And They're asking again what was in the Imperial Stout. Um, it is coffee, cacao nibs, vanilla beans, and chili peppers. And from what we got from one of our viewers, an Imperial Stout means double everything. Oh. Yeah. So that basically means it's stronger than ever. Yeah. And if you're not a fan of that flavor. You're gonna get more of that flavor than ever. So yeah, exactly. Okay, I want to hear more of this LARPing story. So, yeah. so continue. So I'm making my, so like it's nighttime and I'm like, oh no. I don't even remember where the, where the cabin is. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I'm just trying to like, uh, when, I, when, I, when I'm done with a, with a particular situation, I just go like, okay, I'm gonna time travel and just go to sleep. And when I'm awake, it's, it'll be over. So I'm like, I'm gonna sleep through this whole thing. Go to the cabin, I lie on this piece of wood and I'm like, nope. <laughs> Plus like, I don't know when some lunatic is gonna burst in with a goblin mask and beat me to death. <laughs> So, or start purring and yes. slash you with some knives. Right, so I make my way into the tavern. I'm like, maybe I'll like hang out in a tavern. Like I'm playing a, you know, a video game and I'll meet somebody there. Nope, I see like people playing chess 
and like people just chilling. I'm like, this sucks. All right, I'm gonna go to the car and sleep in the car. That's my plan. So I'm walking my way down and I see this big silhouette against some trees and I'm like, oh geez, another friggin' guy. And I go, <laughs> oh, I'm God. not playing. I'm just trying to leave. Please don't attack me. Yeah. And then like I hear this like dull kind of like growl and I'm like, oh God, please break character. You have to say out of game. That's what you have to say in order to say like, I don't want to play. And then the, it takes a big step forward and it's this big bear about the size of a car. Like a real bear? A real live Jesus. bear. And I'm like, oh shit. So I haul ass away from the bear and I, I, I'm like, because I can feel it like heading towards me. So I'm heading towards the tavern and I see this like, there's like a little house, another like little camp house. Lights are on, door, you know, and I hear commotion. So I run to it and I bang on the door and I'm like, open the door, you gotta let me in, this is bear is chasing me. And then a side window opens up from the, from the house and this chick comes out and she's like, what's going on? And I'm like, there's a bear outside that's chasing me. <laughs> and she goes, a bear? And I go, yeah. And she goes, slam. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is happening? And I'm like banging on the door and then the door window opens up, go to the tavern, slam. So I run to the tavern and I'm like, there's go. a bear out there. And they're like, well, you know, it's gonna, we're in the woods in Pennsylvania, what are you gonna do? <laughs> so I like sit in the tavern for like an hour, just desperate and you know, people are trying to like sell me wares. And then I finally go, okay, I guess I'll make my way out of here. So I walk back down the trail and I'm like desperately afraid of everything around me. Yeah. And then a truck that belongs to the people who own it, who are like moving, you know, stuff, comes down, I'm like, oh good, so I just chase the truck. Cause the bear's gonna be afraid of the truck. So I chase the truck, Truck goes down into the area where the cars are. I'm like, yes! I get to the car, and my buddy and I had made a deal. We're gonna keep the key to the car in like the, the flap under, like where the gas tank is. Oh, so I can no. like get that. So I open it up, no key. Oh. And I'm like, what the hell? So I look around, on the, and, then I, and then I hear the door open to the car, and like it's the driver, and I jump in the car, and there's my buddy, and he's sitting there, and he's like, there are bears in here. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I know. I was just chased by one. He's like, yeah, you just missed them just now. Because apparently he had had enough and he went into the car and he's like sleeping in the car and he like, he, he's in the driver's seat and he pulls the seat back and he, so he's lying there trying to fall asleep and then he hears this like sound, this like whoomp. And he opens his eyes and there's a baby bear on the hood just what? looking in at him. Jesus. And then he's like, he's like, and then he looks over and on the hood there's another baby bear just kind of rolling around on the hood. <laughs> and, and he's like, I don't, I don't know what to do. And then the truck came and it scared the bears away. Yeah. And then I showed up. So clearly, <laughs> but like the mother bear must have been number one, the bear that I bummed into, but also right there. Yeah. Because the bears don't stray far from the mother. And if you mess with the bear cubs, like you are, you are, yeah. your day yeah. is over. You're, yeah. you're dead. So I'm like this, can we please admit that we failed and we can go home now? And he's like, yeah, we can get out of here. So we went to McDonald's and like loaded up on McNuggets and slept in a real bed. <laughs> Yeah. That is an amazing story though. <laughs> that Thank is, you. I am, oh my so gosh. Happy we just had you tell a story. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. But yeah, I thought like, oh, your first beer was a bear beer, so let's do yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's a good, that was a good. That's my bear, yeah, that's that my was LARPing way story. better than my story. What was your story? Do you, you don't even want to follow up. You want no, to do it my later. story, I don't remember the majority <laughs> of it. It was my first time drinking in high school uh, with choir kids oh, that's in funny. the woods. <laughs> with a bear? And I almost died. <laughs> Well, was it because go. of the bear? It's because I drank so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's that too bad. that will be for another day. Yeah. That will be. Yeah. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, today, our winner is the Ghost in Their Eyes IPA. Yes. Nice. Uh, Crooked Stab was really good. Uh, we neither of us liked the bomb. No. Nope. What was your favorite Kit Kat? <laughs> uh, the dark chocolate one is my favorite. I like dark chocolate, so that worked out great for me. The mint one, it's a lot of mint. <laughs> and the miso one is like, it's, it's, it's confusing. <laughs> it's confusing. Because okay. that white you know, chocolate's like really strong. I felt really the same strong. about the bomb with right. the chili peppers. Yeah, it was too many, too many flavors. So really, like, there's actually comparable to everything. Because like, the mint was like mid-range, which is what you guys had, and then, yeah, no. All right. It's a clear winner. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're going to wrap up this three beers and a topic. If you like sound, mm -hmm. let us know. We'll keep them around. Why uh, not? We'll put them in like the closet or something. I don't know. We'll just keep them there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are, you, are you okay with this? Uh, we'll, we'll talk we'll about it. We'll throw a pillow down there. Oh. All right, <laughs> sweeten the pot. <laughs>
Thank you, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel for more of this stuff. Go to our Patreon, though, patreon.com slash comicstorian, to fund us doing things like this. You'll get early access to all of these content much, much earlier than I release them on the vlog channel. And I'll see you guys next time right here.